Yo, what's good? Welcome to Muse 360 Hip Hop History, uh, Culture and Aesthetics, or Hip Hop Music, Culture, uh, Aesthetics, and History, however you want to phrase it. Uh, welcome to the class, yo. Uh, you're here. Uh, we're here somewhere. You're in a dorm room or an apartment. I'm here uh, at my, uh, my farm or homestead right outside of Eugene Goatsbeard Homestead. I'll give you the luxurious uh, uh, drone shots. You just kind of see what I'm working with here. Chilling out uh, by my chicken coop. The girls are, are wiling out right now. As you can hear, you'll see them. They'll be come on, coming over here, pecking around. Um, so I'm the chicken overlord here at the homestead. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so uh, my name is Andre. Uh, I should have probably said that before. My name is Andre. You can call me Andre or you can call me the real Dr. Dre because, you know, my name is Andre and I have a PhD. So that makes me Dr. Dre, but I'm the, actually, you know, earned my, the doctor before my name. Although, you know, doctor of what? Listening to music and watching movies, but shit, something. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, or DJ Food Stamp or you can call me Food Stamp or Food or Stamp. That's my, my, my DJ name. Um, so I just kind of want to say hi, introduce myself, um, you know, say what's up, say what's good, and, um, you know, uh, tell you a little bit about myself, like, you know, why I'm teaching this class and, and all that stuff. So um, just to give you, you know, a little bit of sense of my background, uh, you know, I got into hip hop music in the early 80s. Um, so I'm 40 years old, and when I was about four or five, there's this, you know, crazy moment in time called the break exploitation era and it was like the main thing that the media exploited was um b-boying and b-girling because it was so visually spectacular as you you call it uh break dancing so this this stuff was crazy like b-boying b-girling went like you know into the movies it was like you know selling you know how to break dance videos on on you know a qvc network and stuff like that you know, so it was just like everywhere. And, um, you know, I grew up in Maine, about an hour north of Boston. And uh, go Celtics. Um, and uh, so, um, you know, that it was just like everywhere. You go to the mall and there was people breaking. You know, you go down to the beach, people were breaking there. It was just crazy. So that's how I kind of got into the arts was through the dance. And um, that's how I got into the music and everything. And grew up, you know, pretty dedicated rap dude um in the 80s and 90s and in the late 90s uh i actually you know turned that love as a fan um and i became like a, a journalist you know writing reviews interviews articles for magazines um back when there were magazines the internet wasn't really like a source for that stuff yet and then and i started uh you know djing and beat making so i've been you know cutting up scratching records doing radio doing scratch hooks and choruses touring backup all that stuff making sample based beats and loops um since the the late 90s so you know over 20 20 years kind of as i don't know um uh, you know someone who you know specifically as a, as a, a white dude feels very privileged to be able to partake in um, you know, this, this culture. And I just want to say like straight up off the bat, like I really recognize uh, my privilege teaching this class, um, which is essentially, you know, uh, you know, an African-American uh, history class uh, in so many ways. Hey, get out of my coffee, dude. Chill out, both y'all. Um, uh, so, you know, I really recognize uh, that privilege. And, you know, the way I've kind of always looked at hip hop as, as, as a white dude is like, I'm really happy that I get to go to the party, that, I, that I'm allowed to come to the party, that, I'm a, that I got invited to the party. Uh, but it ain't my party. You know, I'm not throwing the party. I'm just there rock, rocking out. So, um, you know, I kind of want to just, just throw that out there. Um, I've taught this class for quite a few years now, you know, and, you know, I really come to it um, you know, as, as a hip hop head, not as an academic, you know, I was into hip hop and, and stuff before, you know, I did the whole PhD thing, but I, you know, I've written books about, about this stuff. I've written journal articles, law journal articles, um, you know, all those things kind of about these topics. So, 
um, you know, making mixtapes, all, all that shit. So, you know, I kind of come at this class, you know, as a practitioner turned scholar, um, I guess. So anyways, that's a little bit uh, about me. I'm, you know, 40 years old. I like to run. Uh, I like to use my chainsaw, as you, as you can see. I like to build stuff. Um, you know, uh, I like to snowboard. I got a three-year-old kid. I ride a motorcycle. I don't know, just letting you know some, some stuff about, about me. Um, this is my first time doing this class online, so, uh, you know, God bear with me a little bit. But some, like, specific uh, deets, you know, so you have them. Uh, my office is Night Library 263. Okay, and I'm holding office hours Monday 2 to 3 p.m. Uh, in my office and on Zoom, so you can stop in or you can stop in virtually. It's kind of, it's kind of up to you. And then I'm hosting an informal session um, Tuesdays 5 to 6. It's a happy hour. So it's, you're, not, you're not required to come. You can pop in. You can share, share a brew, uh, share a coffee, you know what I'm saying, um, share music, share recipes, uh, bullshit about sports, talk about politics. Uh, whatever y'all want to do, um, you know, that's kind of just the time just to, just to drop in and, you know, we can chat about school materials, wh whatever, whatever it is. You can bitch about uh, your other, other classes to me, <laughs> whatever y'all want to do. Um, I'll give you my email, and this is all in the syllabus, and my cell phone number. So uh, you can reach me via cell if you need to uh, text or call, preferably text. Um, you know, uh, if you have like an immediate question that needs to be answered or immediate issue or something like that. Otherwise, email is cool. Uh, you can check me out on my socials, DJ Food Stamp 33. I just got myself a TikTok. Uh, right before that shit was going to get banned, I was like, I'm going to fight censorship and fascism and, uh, <laughs> you know, hypocrisy. And get myself a TikTok. I don't know how to fuck to use it. Um, so one of y'all's got to like, uh, knowledge me up on that so I can start showing off my, my funky fresh, uh, super dope dance moves, um, for, for everybody there. I also put a link to my SoundCloud. It has like just a little bit of, of, you know, some stuff I've made in the last, you know, year or two. Um, a lot of like, I don't know, y'all call it lo-fi, um, stuff. I just call that sample-based music. So I make a lot of stuff like that, study and chill stuff. So anyways, uh, but that's that. So basically we're going to spend the rest of the day. We'll go over the syllabus, go over the course, the canvas, all that stuff. So y'all feel good. Um, I, and again, I want to say this. I hope y'all are feeling good. Um, there's so much crazy shit going on right now. Elections, uh, you know, COVID, pandemic stuff. If you're on the West Coast, <laughs> crazy wildfire action you know, people out fighting for, you know, racial equity, uh, social justice, um, you know, and I'm proud of y'all for that, you know, um, and, and, and I point, I'm pointing the finger, um, and I mean, like, your generation, because, um, you know, for the longest time, I just thought, like, uh, you know, a lot of my students were just into Fortnite and trap beats, and it turns out y'all are, like, more passionate about social justice and, and equity, um, than my generation, than the generation that preceded me. Um, and so it's just been real dope to see y'all kind of really, uh, you know, take charge uh, on that tip. But anyways, I hope you're good uh, up here in the mental. I'm always here. Um, if y'all need something, need someone to chat to or whatever, because I know shit's real, real, real groggy out there. But uh, do stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. And we'll, we'll start to explore this class, Music 360, a little bit more for you.